What's going on everyone? So today we're actually going to go over why I decided to cut my brand new truck to fit the bigger tires. Um, I'm going to, uh, obviously as you guys have seen in the past, um, got a wide wheels wide wheels and uh, tire setup um, so before I just trimmed the, the plastic but then we had to actually go in more and trim the metal and let's see if I can there you go so as you can see it's trimmed right here and this goes a nice clean cut right there so I'll actually throw in a video of um, uh, Abe cutting it for me to make it look nice and clean. And we had to trim or we had to trim the plastic fender a little bit too so it's a nice horizontal cut. Then I'll go to the other side. So here's the other side and then this this little uh, plastic piece likes to fall out so um, I just kind of tuck it in but I might just trim it and then so it just stops flapping but there's the metal I'm going to paint put some paint on it so it doesn't rust but as you can see it's a pretty clean cut and now I'm gonna have Des show you how much uh, room we got now so So the revving's not pretty much doesn't exist anymore in the front because if you cut it sharp enough, you can keep on cutting it. But just do it until I tell you to stop. All right, that's good right there. So as you can see, it gets pretty damn close, and we're not at full lock right now, but we're we're pretty close. So um, if we went any further, it's gonna rub the the crap out of this, and I'd rather not. Uh, rip off some paint or some extra paint. So, um, so yeah. Now you can you can cut it back. So how many how many uh, turns was that? I mean, you can turn it right. All right, that's good right there. That's good. So we're pretty much clear fully before we start rubbing on the other side. So yeah, I mean, look, as you can see, we're, we're just about there, and, um, I mean, I, I think that's a, that's a pretty decent amount of turning radius for now. I don't think we need to, uh, do a whole lot more, but, um, while we're down here, I also installed the, um, I also installed the Carly, uh, steering stabilizer right here, so, so yeah. And then, yeah, can you, can you go, can you just back it up? Um, I'm going to see how much turning we can do. We're going we're gonna to just like back, try t toward the hoop. But don't, don't cut it too sharp. You can cut it more. Just to recap, we, we had to, to trim part of the metal and uh, fender liner right here, but um, I'm just gonna touch this up with some paint and then I gotta clean it up a little bit. You can see it's a little rough in some spots, but um, but I'm, I'm just happy with the minimal cutting because I was originally gonna cut from here all the way down because um, I, I thought it was gonna look kind of weird um, just coming from the bottom, but it actually looks really good. And just like I need to touch it up a little bit, but yeah, I know it's kind of crazy cutting into a seventy thousand dollar truck, but you got to do what you got to do to to fit the setup right here. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. But 
Um, it actually wasn't that bad watching uh, the, the sparks fly, but um, I'd rather not do it again because I might have to do it again in the rear here uh, where you pop out. You can pop this piece off right here, um, but you have, you're have you going to have to, I think we were rubbing pretty high. We almost have to cut this all the way down, and this is all metal. And I'd rather not get into the pinch weld right now. So, so yeah, if you guys have any questions um, about the truck so far, leave them in the comments. Uh, hopefully you like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.